okay so now that we are done downloading our data from the internet um so i already unzipped one this one was from divagis okay now for every data you have now that's how the shape file the shape file is structured Ob observe this carefully okay now you can see that all of these have the same name ghana admin zero ghana admin zero ghana admin zero about um about six of them right about six of them for now let's exclude the csv file okay so mostly there are five of them what i want to point out out is that a ship file works together with other extensions so dot shp means ship file okay but that's not all of it it entails um it entails dot shx dot prj dot dbf and dot cpg now all these work together to 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 actually uh, define the data they are containing okay for instance this dot dbf con is, is basically a database all right it's basically a database of whatever data it um of whatever data it's supposed to represent prj sh shows the projections in which this data is being represented and each of them has a function so you can't if i should delete one of them then the rest will fail to work okay i just want you to understand that they all must be present in the same folder if you intend to use them so you can't say oh i only need dot shp so let me delete this one and delete this one that won't work all right so please try to make sure that all the data is intact and don't delete anything once you've downloaded it you can follow my videos by subscribing to the channel and consider leaving a thumbs up on this video thank you now you might also notice that they have um, a csv here now the csv it's optional it doesn't necessarily function as part of the um the databases for the what's the name for the shape file but anyway it's it's almost like an attribute table it contains the headers of whatever i think so i'm not so sure but it contains the headers of of the shape file maybe we would have to import it and then try to study to see what actually it entails okay so the csv is not anything um required for the shape files to work but the rest of them are required so you can see that um, ghana admin one has five other sets of extensions ghana admin two has five other sets of extensions okay so take note of that now in order to import your shape file okay to your gis environment i'm going to show you three ways of doing it is basically the same thing and you decide which one you use but at the end of the day to become obvious which which option to use now the first option is use this add um an open data source manager okay or you can just go to layer and then you find it here so i'm going to hit on open data sees a uh, data source manager and over here i get the chance to browse okay so i'm just going to my desktop then i'll go to download QGIS because this is where i put them into and i'm going to change this into um just a sec i have to define oh okay so over here because i'm coming to download um import a, a shape file that's a vector a vector data so i'm going to move my tab into the vector section if i were to import a raster data i would come to the raster or if it were a mesh or a comma delimited or a geo package you see all the other data types we're talking about anyway so what i'm dealing with is just a vector so i'm going to select the vector tab and then i can browse okay so i browse to ghana admin and then i look for ghana admin zero dot shp this is the one you import don't import prj because it don't work always look for the one that ends with shp dot shp so that's the one you import and then if i hit on add it should add it over here you can see that it has added it okay so i can just import the rest of them um ghana admin one dot shp when I hit on add, you can see that it has added it, and you can see that it has been shown in the layers panel. Do for the last one, and add. Okay, so you can see that it has added all three, and it's it's basically simple. So you go to the open data source manager, 
and then you select the kind of data you are importing you browse for it and then you add it okay it's basically simple if it were raster you follow the same procedure if it's were mesh you basically all of them follow this the same procedure okay so um I'll show you how to import the rest. Okay, that 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 was that was that was one way of doing it. Okay, I'm just going to remove them from the layer so that I don't have duplicates. Now another way is so all I want to do is I will just open the location of this folder. Okay, that's where the dex, the data is. Look for the .shp file, drag it and drop it into my working environment. That's pretty simple, right? Drag it and drop it into my working environment drag it and drop it into my working environment like this also really simple i hope you get it it's it's basically the same way of doing it i mean it's basically the same i mean the same results you get uh -huh. so the third one i want to show you is you see that it has um an a csv file okay so there's the csv file here we would probably need it and um, i don't think we need it but let's just assume we do maybe we we'll probably need like Ghana admin 2 because that one will be more detailed. Okay, so let's assume we need Ghana admin 2 probably for joins or something. What we would do is go back to the open data source manager and then in this case, good, it's already I remove my tab from it was at vector, I move it to delimited text. Okay, and um, I browse for it and I select Ghana admin 2 like this. Now, if you observe, we went through the Ghana admin 2, you can just see it over here. If you observe the headings, there are no coordinates to it. Okay, so it means it's not a, um, it's not, uh, what's the name? It's a, a shape file. I mean, what's the name? It's not a spatial file, right? Very sorry about that. So because it's not a spatial file, there's no need to assign coordinates to it, okay? So I'll just call it a no geometry attribute. Now, if it had geometry, let's assume that this point ID was X axis and this point ID zero was Y. I just have to locate them and say, oh, this is X and this is Y. I think I would get a better example and explain it later on. Then you choose the right coordinate system you're coming to work on. I will talk about coordinate systems very soon, okay? And then you now add but because it's not a special file i'm just going to say it's a no geometry attribute table and i select add and when i select add it's been added here okay it's basically that's that's it that's basically how to add your data so these are the three ways of adding data and there are actually other ways of doing it like for instance adding back a raster data adding um geo packages and all all that but um I want you to stick with dragging and dropping so first of all concentrate on finding the one that is dot shp okay then you drag it and drop it all right all right so um for this video i hope it was helpful let's let's meet in the next videos to talk about more on quantum gis all right bye